In our Amargosaurus episode, we looked at what was at the time the most recent research into what would have been covering those wacky neck spines. They concluded that the upper portion of the neck spines, at least, would have been encased in horn. Workers have called that into question. Serda et al. sampled slices from five of Amargosaurus's neck vertebrae and some dorsal vertebrae, and they looked at the histology of the bones under microscopes to try and find patterns in how these bones grew, and found that ligaments make a bit more sense than horns. The authors noted that there are no longitudinal grooves on the surface, like what we would expect if there was a horn sheath, because they need room for blood vessels and nerves to run through. No rough areas where the little spikes of bone are running at diagonal angles. And there's no ridge or groove where the horn stops and the skin starts, which we would also expect to find. <laughs> 